exist. They want a home, someone to call a friend. Destruction of all my ego. They volunteered to help me put this puny planet out of its misery. <laughs> You're in for a big surprise. The Dark Makers don't play nicely with others. Just ask the Metalheads. I've been given the opportunity to wield a power even the precursors could not control. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all. Complete oblivion! So hard to choose. I won't let you do this! Okay, this boss battle is actually pretty easy, but it can take a while. It takes four hits to kill, and he's got a bunch of attacks. Besides that bomb one, the rest of his attacks will be mostly sending out uh, KG bots to try to kill you. Which really doesn't help a bit. And when you destroy all of them, uh, he will send out these little rocket things or whatever, and um, you have to spin kick. Well, I spin kick them underneath them. We're almost getting there. You really want to try and keep your the beam reflector out for this mission, because trust me, mission, this boss fight, because I'm telling you, it will make your life a whole lot easier. I think this will be another boss. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Those right there, he will, uh, you have to jump. There, now it just works parts of the platform. That happens in every Jack and Daxter game, I think. I'm trying to think of all the bosses. Jack Jack 1 didn't have that really many variety of bosses. You had the flower boss, which was pathetically easy. Then you had the final boss. Really? That? Oh, you also had Claw. And he destroyed part of the platform. In Jack 2, you had... Um, I am really trying my best to remember what boss did that. Um, yeah, that was... Um, that was the one in Mars Tomb. So yeah, in each Jack and Dexter game, there's a boss that gets rid of platforms. Again, it's real easy. Just keep spin kicking it. They usually like to give you good ammo amounts too. I know in the next phase is when he starts summoning the Dark Makers, and those guys are actually there's one hard one because they summon a shield, and then the Hornets are easy to dispose of with a beam reflector. Uh, but if you're wanting to check out the Dark Makers, I recommend the Peacemaker, the RPG, the Needle, pretty much all version 3 of all the guns. They work the best on them. Uh, well, the Beam Reflexor, I take more than the Gyro Buster because it conserves amp. It takes ammo like crazy on the Gyro Buster and the Beam Reflexor, it's not that much. So all you gotta do is press R1 a couple times, and after that, the rest just goes to work. Look at that! They just jump out! I'm dead! Oh. He was stuck. Really, I don't know anyone who does not like the beam reflector. I mean, I know... That came out completely wrong. I don't know a single person who does not like the beam reflector. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Everyone I talk to loves the beam reflection. I couldn't say that for some reason. Okay, get some health now. I'm warning you, these guys can put up a good fight. And because I haven't used Dark Jack any during really this entire time recording take a guess what we're gonna do now I'm only gonna wait till a bunch of them appear on screen I'm gonna do dark bomb I'm not gonna do dark strike because it's just not a so it's like the dark jack now oh well as long as I don't do anything then I should be fine I can stay in this form as long as I want as long as I don't really attack after that wait for them to come out one by one they'll start coming out bits by bits and after that boom that would have been bad if I had went through the floor. I would have probably gone mad. I'm now. But after that, just use the beam reflector. It's best to stay under the one that arrows under because that way, if you keep shooting, then most of the time the beam reflector will focus in on that part. Uh, the those guys themselves, they do four hard four things of damage, and then that's the end of the boss. Yeah, four things of damage. Oh. Hey, I found where I could put a bloom a boom clip finally. Damn, got away. See you later, Mechanator. Jack, this guy is falling. Hey.
And now we get possibly my we second favorite weapon in the game. And kick his nuts. And Errol got away, but we shut down his robot factory. That's good, but it is troubling to see what Errol is doing. I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. Onan says the Precursors and Dark Makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. It would not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. Well, it's not gonna be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just gotta find a way to destroy that thing. The truth lies at the bottom of the catacombs. That's where I need to go. Okay, again, if they've had that part of the gun, why did that not give them to me earlier? Trust me, that would've made Errol go, Whee! And then you make him fall to the earth. Please help us. Errol's attacking the Monk Temple. He wants the secrets we have kept concerning the Dark Makers. Please hurry. Okay, guys. To conserve time on this, I'm going to cut ahead um, to the Monk Temple, and then after that mission, I'm going to be done recording for today because I still want to go watch those movies I mentioned earlier. Well, at least two of them. I'm going to watch The Iron Giant and My Neighbor Totoro. I don't know about Princess Mononoke still. But other than that, guys, yeah, um, I'm going to cut ahead now to the uh, Precursor Temple, so see you guys in one second. Okay, guys, we are here now. Didn't take me that long to do. I had to use a mass inverter once on a group of marauders. If you're going to Spargus and they start coming after you, I'd recommend the mass inverter because it just gets rid of them. And, like you can just walk on your merry way. And then we get to put it they actually against the dark makers themselves. So as soon as you walk in, they'll appear, and after that, boom, there you go. I love this gun. <laughs> Whee! They don't usually die in one hit, but yeah, it's really fun to use against these guys. Look at woohoo! We're blasting off again! All you gotta do is hit them once, and after that, they pretty much die instantly after that. They're also weak to, um... Their shields can't stand the, uh, physical attack. As soon as you hit them, their shield will disappear, but it'll, say, it'll sound like Jack got hit. I assure you, he will be fine. Getting some ammo now. All right, what just opened? Okay, that's the teleporter gate. Where the heck do I go? Oh, I guess in here. We're also gonna get the last dark jack, pa dark jack, light jack power. And I did say after this mission I was gonna be done recording. No, I'm doing the mission right after this, and I absolutely hate that mission. The first three missions of Act uh, Three are really annoying. Actually, I may do two more missions, depending on what the next mission is after um, the one in Spargus, because the next one is one I really do hate the mission. I really hate all of Act 3's missions, except for, like, two, and that's it. This mission I like, because it's fun, because you get to use the mass inverter. Here, transform the dart jack. Boom. They go flying! Okay, screw this. Just let this go to work and kill him. Let me see if I can do the dark. Hey, I could do it. Sweet. Also, well, oh, screw it. I'll get out the mass inverter again. Whoop! Woohoo! I never get tired of that. Wee! Best part is you can still activate more within the same rings. So come in here. Transform the dart jack. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. Unless this is the door we're not supposed to go through. Oh, yeah, it's not. My bad. My bad. It's a door over here, I remember. Right here. I actually could finish the game today. That would not be a bad idea. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna... Next time I sit down to record, I will do it. I never get tired of that, I swear to God. And if they're trying to hide, trust me, this makes them come out. 
It's so fun to use that, I swear to god. It's like there's no escaping it. <laughs> 